Leak out. Catch. Butler. Slam. Homeless teen turns NBA all-star. Achieving real success is hardly a walk in the park. Regardless of one's circumstances, achieving one's goals is possible if one maintains a clear focus on what one hopes to achieve. Jimmy Butler, one of the most well-known athletes in the world, is well known for his unflinching determination and tireless efforts. He is currently the highest paid player on the Miami Heat team, and he deserves every dime. Jimmy has always enjoyed the ferocity of competition, but Texas summers are a completely different animal for him. As a child, Butler's interest shifted between sports. Home life was not always easy, owing to the fact that it did not always exist. Join us now as we take a look at Jimmy Butler's path from obscurity to NBA stardom. From a homeless boy to an NBA player who finally feels like he can always be his authentic self after years of being questioned and rejected. But unlike most of his teammates, has not been a professional basketball player for his whole life. Butler grew up in Tombow, Texas, where he played football until he was 13 years old. Jimmy's mother suddenly informed him, I do not like the look of you. You have to leave. When he was 13. Butler spent most of his childhood and early adolescence couch surfing between the homes of his friends and teammates and became accustomed to this lifestyle. Until the summer before his senior year of high school, he continued to do this. One of Jimmy Butler's first fans was a ninth grader enthralled with his game and challenged the youngster to a three-point shootout. At first, they were just friends, but then Jimmy began staying at the kid's house to play video games and eat meals when he had no real home, and Michelle Lambert the young kid's mother decided to adopt Jimmy due to their friendship. Michelle was a single mother with few resources. That did not stop her from making a change in Jimmy's life. With the help of the Lambert family, Jimmy was able to find a new place to call home and his life began to change. Jimmy had to work hard to set a good example for the younger kids and do well in school, which is exactly what he did. After making these alterations to his way of living, he saw a significant improvement in his game. Jimmy was the Tom Bell High School basketball team's captain and averaged 19 points and 7 rebounds. To imagine that Jimmy Butler would be flourishing at this point is absurd. Butler's life would be filled with obstacles. And even as a high school senior, he was not listed among ESPN's top recruits for the next college basketball season. Not a single Division I school offered Jimmy a scholarship. As a result of being compelled to attend junior college, Jimmy began his playing career as a freshman at the Tyler Junior College. While he worked toward getting noticed by anyone who would give him a chance, he played basketball in empty gyms. Jimmy scored 34 points in his first conference, although he is still in college. A coach at Marquette, Buzz Williams, was watching another player on the court at the time and saw that a guy seemed to be working harder than the rest of them. Because, as Jimmy recalls, Buzz claimed he sucked on the first day. This must have been a bit hyperbolic because Jimmy did get a scholarship offer from Marquette, even though he was still an unranked recruit. While a scholarship to a prestigious university could satisfy other students, it did not satisfy Jimmy. This was the first time in his life that hard effort paid off. A new obstacle, another challenge awaited him when he arrived at Marquette University. Butler averaged just 5.6 points per game and played less than 20 minutes as a college basketball starter. In many cases, the practices were far worse. There is a good reason why Williams is known as the toughest guy in town, and Jimmy soon discovers this. It is not meant to be easy for Buzz to practice. Jimmy's practice routines were two days of non-stop running in a secluded Wisconsin campground. Jimmy was on the verge of resigning when he declared that he was ready to return home and end this nonsense. He had no choice but to grow some balls and work hard. He persevered through a lifetime of hardships and emerged a better person. Eventually, Jimmy would consider Buzz Williams a father figure to compliment his mother, Michelle. He learned that anything is achievable if you put in the effort. He finished his college career at Marquette with a bachelor's degree and was a starter as a junior and a Big East honoree. National All-American honors are given to several 19-year-old freshmen each year. With only an honorable mention ranking by his conference at 22, it was not likely that this young man would ever have a meaningful NBA career. Still, no matter what life dealt him, he always managed to hit back 
following his senior season. Jimmy attended the Portsmouth Invitational and was voted the tournament's most valuable player by the judges. Chicago Bulls took a man once known as the homeless kid after every team in high school rejected him. He did it, and all the doubters who said he could not be an NBA player were proven wrong. But as the case was throughout Jimmy Butler's life, a new reality would soon dawn on him in his rookie season, one for which he was unprepared. In his debut season with the Chicago Bulls, he was not good enough to play in the NBA, at least not yet. On the offensive end, Jimmy's game was sloppy. At the time, Jimmy was unconcerned with JB's lack of playing time. He only appeared in 42 games for the Bulls during his rookie season, averaging only 8 points and 5 minutes per contest. Being a bench player and trying to make your way to the NBA is not an easy task. It would be nearly impossible. Jimmy Butler haunted by memories of his mother's abandonment when he was 13, did what he always had done. He worked hard as a collegiate player, primarily as a forward, but now a guard. Butler's mother abandoned him when he was 13. The gym was where I spent most of my free time. The sport had never turned its back on him, and he spent more time focusing on his ball handling, shooting, and other aspects of his game. Second year in the league, he had his chance. In the 2013 playoffs, he played in all 20 games he started and put up impressive numbers of 13 points on three-pointers and 5.2 rebounds per game. It was not until the 2015 season that he finally blossomed as a complete starter. Even though he averaged just 15.7 points per game as a college player, even though he was merely an honorable mention Big East selection senior, Jimmy Butler averaged 20 points per game in his fourth NBA season. After the 2015 NBA season, Jimmy Butler became the first Chicago Bull ever to be awarded the NBA's most improved player. Even though he was homeless, undrafted, and a 30th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, this season, Jimmy has continued to build on his newfound success after agreeing to a $95 million max contract. He has demonstrated that he is well worth it, averaging 26 points per game 4.1 assists, and 6.7 rebounds. It is a truly inspiring story. Jimmy Butler's life was a fairy tale. It is amazing how little people know about Jimmy Butler's journey from homelessness to NBA stardom. And I do not think people give him enough credit for what he went through to get there. What can you take away from Jimmy Butler's remarkable life story? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Never miss an amazing story by subscribing to our channel. Until next time.